doubles. Lee Swilicum, North Japan, number 36 in the world. Like a Kiwa and Miyuki Maeda. And we're up against North Denmark, number 3 in the world. And the winner of this year's London Grand Prix Gold, Christina Malone and Camila Urebu. Please welcome the umpires and court officials onto court number two. Court number two, men's singles. Please welcome from Thailand, currently ranked number 19 in the world, and quarter finalist at this year's Yonix All England, Tanontak Sandomotu. And he's up against from China, currently ranked number two in the world, and winner of the Yonix All England 2013, Jen Long.
Good afternoon out there. Welcome to the live streaming from the Yonex Denmark Open 2013. Court number two. My name is Alexander Wang. I am here with Steen Peterson. Ready to talk you through the five semi-final matches that we're about to experience here on court number two today. Starting off here with a immense singles between Tanonsak, Sun Sambonsak from Thailand and Chen Long from China. And what a match to start off with, Stein. Yeah, we've got five really exciting matches ahead of us. And, uh, well, starting out here with uh, one of the two favorites to take the title here at the Yonex Denmark Open, Chen Long of China, against, I guess we could say, the surprise player in uh, men's singles, Tanang Sak Sensum Bunsuk. Unseeded tie player made it through to the semi final. And I guess it's a bit of a surprise to most of the badminton experts. In his quarter final yesterday, he beat. Tony Dwi Konkuro from Indonesia. And we must say that Sony had looked very impressive in the match before that. So really interesting to see if he can uh, continue his uh, good run and form here against uh, Chen Long. He's also been looking very, very impressive so far in the tournament was challenged by Rajiv Usuf of England. Played uh, some of the best badminton I've seen an English male player play for, yeah, I'm not afraid to say centuries. No, centuries is perhaps too much, decades. You're not that old, Steen. <laughs> no. But of this century, since year 2000, I haven't seen an English men's singles player play that well. No, it was an impressive performance by Rajiv Usev. A very long match that was, 79 minutes. He almost had the victory, Usev. But eventually it was the Chinese second seed who ended up progressing to the quarterfinals. where he faced his compatriot Chen Yukun.
Wide again from the tie. Seems a bit more focused now. Chen Long a bit more eager to win than he has been doing in his previous matches here in Odense. He wasn't doing Fist clutching like that against Usev here the other day. He knows it's not anybody who can make it to the semifinals. You've got to be at your best or very close to your best in order to progress to the finals. A match everybody wants to participate in naturally. He was in the final last year as well. Chen Long lost to Li Chong Wei, who he actually beat in the final two years ago. I think we'll see uh, a copy of that match tomorrow, Steen. There's a good chance of it. I, r I really hope for a rematch. Chen Long versus Li Chong Wei. Uh, in my opinion, it's the two best players in the world right now. That's an interesting discussion, actually, Steen, because how would you define the best player out there? Because we have a world champion as well, who is not one of these two players. Some might consider him the best, or if not, at least one of the best. Well, we don't know because he's not playing. So to me, these are the two best players in the world right now, Chen Long and Li Chong Wei. Whatever Lin Dan is doing, if he's going fishing or uh, biking or doing something else, I don't really care. As long as he's not playing tournaments, he cannot be ranked as the best player in the world right now. And after a close start, Chen Long has taken the lead here. The tall Chinese. That's just Seven, wide there.
That's a nice smash from Tanonzak. One of his most deadly weapons. He's got a heavy smash. The 23-year-old Thai player. There he has it. The lead at the interval. And actually a good start for both players. I mean, Tanang Sak going into this semi-final as the underdog cannot be totally unsatisfied. Nice play there by the Thai. Very tight net game there in this rally. Gives him a layup that's not long enough. Easy to punish. Chen Long, when he's in form, not necessarily 100%, but 85 to 100%, very, very hard to beat. Such good quality in all his shots. Look at that lift all the way to the baseline. Great shot there from Tanang Sak. And in one way, I shouldn't be that surprised because I was there at the uh, Indian Badminton League taking place just after the World Championships and uh, he was one of the very much impressive players. Won all his singles matches in uh, the team tournament there, but just hasn't got it going in the Super Series tournament so far, but uh, perhaps that's about to change. Thai also reached the semi-finals at the All England earlier this year. That occasion, he beat some quite good players, I'd say. Beat Hu Yun from Hong Kong, China, Sho Sasaki, and Tommy Sugiato. Yeah, I, uh, I rate the victory of Tommy Sugiato over Tommy Sugiato as the best one, as I think. Hu Yun and uh, Sho Sasaki are uh, having trouble keeping up the level of play that we've seen them um, a year ago or so. Hu Yun also very, very disappointing um, performance here at the uh, Yonex Denmark Open. Um, lost in the first round. Against uh, Guru Saidut. Went down tamely, 21-17, 21-14. So both he and Winky Wong is struggling, the two Hong Kong players. But uh, it's good that uh, we see young and upcoming players. Tanang Sak is still young, even though he's been playing on the circuit for a number of years. Uh, 23 years of age, turned 
23 last Sunday. He's got to come up with something now if he wants to grasp the victory here in the first game. Chen Long leads 16-11 towards the end. The accuracy from Chen Long. Deserting him here, but uh, normally the accuracy for from Chen Long makes it hard for Tanang Sak. Um, that's one of the things you could say that are still lacking in his game: the ability to shot by shot build up an uh, opportunity for himself. Quite quick on his feet. Especially in the, the attack. Good smash. And thank you for the display. Right on the line. But he's using his height well. Chen Long. His range. Seventeen thirteen now. Eighteen thirteen. It's just wide there. The return from Tanonsak. Still very much alive. Tanonsak, Sensom Bunsuk. It's one to three. Last rallies now, only two points away. there at the net from Tanonsak, uh, who's been quite tight with his net game so far in this match. I think Chen Long put it a little bit further into the court, making it harder for Tanonsak to judge exactly how much power he should apply. Great shot there. Excellent. 
excellent kill by Tanumsak. Just long from Tanonsak. Great offense by Chen Long. Applying the pressure on Tanonsak. He was unable to control the shuttle in the end. Now he's got himself two game points. Clever. Very nice play there by Chen Long. A brave short return there at the net. Getting the layup from Tanonsak and then finishing it off by himself to win the game 21 18. Now we have. Um I guess it's the head of uh, Chinese singles department, Zhong Bo. Coaching together with the uh, normal men's singles coach, Xia Xuanzi. Here's the Thai coach, Sumpol Kukashemki. Also former international player. Here in the break, let's mention once again that you are more than welcome, dear viewer, to visit our Facebook page and our Twitter page. And get updated on the latest news from the Yonex Denmark Open. Log on to facebook.com forward slash badminton pk and twitter.com forward slash bad dk. Keep in mind that our email is open as well for questions about the players in the tournament here. Yonex Denmark Open at gmail.com. Don't hesitate to write to us. Four to 20 seconds. Four to 20 seconds. <laughs> Well, Tanangsa needs to win this game to stay in the match. Has never taken a game off Chen Long so far in uh, tournaments. Chen Long leading 3 0 in matches. Totally different Chen Long playing here in uh, Yonex Denmark Open from even the World Championships. Playing so much better here. from uh, Chen Long. Excellent. 
very controlled follow up on his uh, smash there turn on sack bit of variation oh. there from Chen Long in his smash Excellent attack. Five, He's playing eight. very, very sharp at the net right now. Turning sec. Of course, when you want to apply such an attacking style, you need to be very skillful at the net in order to create your own chances. Just smile, Tan on Zak, Sen Zan Bunzuk after that rally. Great net game from both of these two gentlemen. Great rally we've got going right now. Just put it wide, turning sack, and guess that's also through to the very strong defense from uh, Chen Long. Yeah, he just picked everything up during that rally. Very accurate play here from uh, the tie. 
course, Thailand, one of the countries that are coming on very strong at the moment in international badminton. Later today, world champion Ratchanak Intanon is playing the semi final on the TV court. But also, a lot of young ladies singles players and some aspiring doubles players as well. Of course, they've still got season campaigners, Sutkit, Prapakamol, and uh, Sarali Tung Tung Kam, but uh, I think they've got a very promising young female doubles player, Narisa Patlam. Great chance at the net taken by Chen Long. Well executed. At the beginning of this game, I think the Chinese looked very confident, very calm after having won that first game. He knows the tie is a challenge. And now he's trailing. Maybe he was just a bit too calm in the beginning. Seven, very lucky there. Yeah. And Definitely, uh, Tanang Sak is uh, up to the challenge, so Chen Long cannot rest easily. I know uh, Hans Christian Witting, who's lost the first match to Tanang Sak, was uh, a bit disappointed by his own performance, but uh, as we've seen later on in the tournament, Tanang Sak is very, very compatible. Excellent shot there. He's used it a number of times this match. Very, very efficient. Cross court smash from his backhand side. The reason, or one of the reasons why he can perform that shot with success so many times is because, besides of that smash, he also got his smash long line. He can variate his play there, his game. Very dangerous from the back court in general. Challenge from Chen Long here at the net, and he simply needs to do that. I think he cannot just lift all the time to Tanang Sak and let him fire his attack at him. Great defense there by Chen Long. Ah! 
Once again, Chinese lead at the interval. However, not so comfortably this time. 11-10 is the score. to email us on Yonix Denmark Open at gmail.com if you got a question for us here at the commentary booth. Achilles getting a bit of uh, cool spray on it, I guess. And we could just see below the sock that he was taped up. I don't think it's been visible in the way he's been playing. You can see that he is having difficulties with his Achilles. 11, 10. Seems to be moving quite freely. Can't be that serious. Play. Let's hope not. Be a pity to end the semi final with an uh, retirement. Good call by Tenung Sack. So Just gone long. 11 all. The outcome is decided by um, the battle at the net. Tanning Sack, in my opinion, has to win a little bit more than 50% of uh, the exchanges at the net. As I think Chen Long has a bit of a better defense. And right now he is. Again, that very, very so lethal good. smash. Well, oh. and you can see that Chen Long was actually on his way out there. He was out there, just unable to return it. It was so well executed by Tanon Sak. Just kissed the line. Oh. He's leveled here, 12 all. Serves over, 13-12. So ah! ah! 14-12. Chen Long is perhaps coming half a step closer to the net at the moment. Telling Sack has to play some lifts to take him away from the net. Very alert 
there by Chin Long. Oh, he was out of balance there. Tan on Zak. Well. He turns and celebrates towards his coaches. Probably a tactical solution there that they've been discussing uh, in the interval. Turning sack, but uh, some of these dives Chen Long has had, where he didn't actually return the smashes, they they still affect the opponent. They know that they have to play really, really precise in order to kill it, and sometimes you just overdo it because you know it's important to play precise. Important point here for Tanang Sak. I think this 16. is perhaps the last chance he's got to make a run for this game. Three points deficit now. Oh. Service over. You can't 17, make mistakes 13. like that. He knows it. It's obvious. Now he's got a six-point cushion. Chinese second seed, Chen Long. I think it's the better man who progresses through to the final. He fought well, Tan Onsag. But I think especially here in the end, Chen Long has showed why he is just that wee bit better. A bit more consistent in his game. The tie has made some easy mistakes. Match point yeah, he, he has the ability to make uh, tactical changes to his game. Uh, it's been crucial to putting the net shots a little bit further away from the net, making it hard for Tan Sak to play sharp. And now seven match points for Chen Long. Third straight year that Chen Long has reached the final here at the Yonex Denmark Open. Match won by Very convincing Chen victory Long. here in the end. 21, 18, 21, Tomorrow he will 30. face either Lee Chong Wei or his compatriot Du Peng Yu. Let's have a short break and we'll be back afterwards with a round of women's singles. Wang Shishan from China faces Sun Ji Yung from Korea. Want to be massaged by Heavenly King? 
No problem. Let me take you to the highest level of massage indulgence. Awesome U Infinity, the world's first massage chair that lets you download new massage programs like the CEO, the Tai Tai, and my Heavenly King massage. New massage downloads to satisfy the whole family. Amazing? So what are you waiting for? New massage downloads for endless pleasure. Awesome U Infinity. Awesome. The airport is being developed as a test center for UAVs. Here you can fly your UAV, you can uh, run your business from here, you can invite customers. Located here at the airport is uh, also the Danish National Network uh, for the UAV Society. We have uh, actually uh, collected, uh, gathered the whole uh, UAV community from the universities and researchers, students, to uh, operators and companies producing UAVs. And also uh, we have the end users like uh, public organizations like police, emergency management, uh, fire squads, etc. So we have the whole market. There's a lot of air traffic in, uh, in Europe, uh, but here it's, uh, it's close to the ocean and it's a, a pretty densely populated area, so, so the possibilities for operating here are, are very good. We have both offices, hangars, meeting facilities, so when you come here as a foreign company it's, it's really easy to, to get located here for a shorter or longer period of time. Developing the airport is, uh, is an important thing both for the country as a whole and uh, not at least for the region. We are in the south of Fyn, a fantastic, beautiful place. We are in the old inn in Vesteråby. All the people are, of course, very, very trained people, but uh, I'm hiring chefs because chefs, they are really hard workers and they are working fast, they are used to that. My chefs, they have worked in the warm kitchen for many years and I've done that myself. And when you work in a warm kitchen, you have different uh, ingredients than you normally have in a chocolate factory. That's why I combine pine needle, coriander, uh, fresh cream, fresh butter and the best chocolate you can find. But of course, these very, very high-end products are very sensitive. So you still need all the feeling from the hands. You can invest in machines, you still need the good guys, the good people to, to make the chocolate. We are present in uh, New York, Paris, uh, Gangnam, uh, a lot of different places and uh, we want to rise slowly. But of course we would like to be in every big city in the world uh, in a few years. Before we commence with this women's singles match, let's quickly head down to the mixed zones where our interviewer is ready with the winner of the previous match, Chen Long from China. Yes, I'm down in the mixed zone with the Chen Long and congratulations on your victory. You looked a bit more fired up today. Is that a, a right observation? Today, yeah, it's it's right that today I was a lot more motivated and fired up because the way I, the way I think of it is like you know one less match to go to the finals, and um, I, he can also really feel the crowd support and he really wants to give it back to the crowd with a, a fired up performance. You've played him three times before and won pretty easily. Even though the second game, um, it you won it pretty easily, um, it looked a bit difficult for you. Could you see that he has improved? 就是你这个跟这个泰国选手一定打对战过三次
很难去去去去去接。对。So yes, indeed. In the second uh, second game, Chan Hong Sat really stepped up his game, and he was a lot more fired up, which understandably because it's the semi-finals. And for him, he feels that there were some shots that were rather unexpected to him. He wasn't see, he didn't see it coming, so it was a little bit more challenging. Tomorrow is the final. Uh, would you rather meet Dupeng or Li Chengwei? So today is the big game. Do you want to meet your teammate Du Hongyu or do you want to challenge yourself to meet Li Chengwei? 其实我觉得不存在挑战与不挑战嘛，因为我跟李宗伟其实交手了也有很多次，因为我觉得我每一次跟他打，我都是抱着一种学习的态度，因为可能跟他的交手的机会真的是打一次少一次，所以我会比较珍惜。然后其实我跟杜鹏宇也是都是在我们现在国内就是一起出来比赛的，对，年龄也相仿，所以我觉得我想好好休息一下，希望期待明天的比赛吧。嗯。So I asked him where he wants to take up the challenge to, um, uh, we feel it's a challenge to uh, play on Li Chongwei tomorrow. And he, re he responded saying that he would look forward to play Li Chongwei because, you know, he, real he knows that it's, uh, it's not that many chance to play against Li Chongwei as, as time goes along. And he really sees it as a learning opportunity every time he plays against Li Chongwei. So he will look forward to playing Li Chongwei as much as looking forward to play his uh, own compatriot, um, uh, Du Pengyu, because in China now the two of them are the main two players that comes out to to compete. Uh, so either whoever he plays, he definitely is looking forward to it. Thank you very much. And whoever he will face in tomorrow's final, Chen Long, I think we are all looking forward to that match here in Odense Sports Park. And on my left, Sun Yi Hyun, Korea. Now, let's head our attention to court number two once again. This is one of the two women's singles semifinals have just begun.